So today I'm going to be doing this hairstyle, which is a ninja bun and a part crochet look. So if you want to see how I get this look, then keep watching. Okay guys, so to get started with this look, you want to first go ahead and part your hair in two sections. One's going to be for your ninja bun and then the other is going to be for your crochet, crochet section. And your braids are going to look something like this. You don't necessarily have to do your braids like mine, but I have mine going in this pattern because I'm going to use this top line here as an invisible part. So you can't tell how the hair is actually flowing. So it doesn't look like that crochet look. It'll look kind of natural. So I'm going to save this one for last and then I'm going to start hooking the hair with this braid first. Okay. So my section pieces are going to look like this and I cut the one pack of hair in half. So I'm using one pack of synthetic hair. You guys, you can get the cheapest synthetic hair you can find in the store. That's what I did. And I took one pack, I cut it in half for the back and then I have one full pack for my ninja bun. So I'm going to go ahead and start hooking my hair and then I'll turn to the back so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to make it even on both sides and then I'm going to stick the hook in. Okay, so you guys get the gist of what I'm doing. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like once I get to the very, very top. And then I'll show you guys what I was talking about with the invisible part. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to do the invisible part for you. And it's pretty much the same. The only thing is when you hook the hair, you're only going to be using one strand of this hair and not both strands to make your knot. So now I'm going to take the hair, put it on the hook, pull it through. Now I'm taking this one strand of hair and I'm going to put it on the hook, pull it through, put it on the hook, pull it through. That makes the knot just like that. And that's how you do the invisible part. And hopefully I can be able to zoom up on that so you guys can see that. Just taking the hair, putting it on the hook, pull it through, put one strand on the hook, pull it through. One strand on the hook, pull it through, that makes the knot, and there you go. Just like that. And I'm just going to continue to do that the rest of the way across. And then we'll get into the ninja bun.
Okay guys, so I wanted to, um, as you can see, blow dry it out just a little bit to take away some of the thickness, but not too much. If you want to press it out, you can do that on a 300 or lower setting. If you do it a little bit higher than the 300, then you take a chance of burning the hair because it is synthetic hair, so it will melt. So you just have to be careful not to put the heat setting on too high. So it'll be 300 and lower. So now what I'm getting ready to do is the ninja bun. And I have my hair. And I went on ahead and just teased the hair at the bottom so that it's not blunt. And I'm just twisting the hair all the way down. And go above this hair. And just wrap it. And there you go. You have the the first piece done and then you want to take your second piece and do the same thing just twist it and then you go the other way and if you want to take some bobby pins to secure you can go ahead and do that I normally do just because I just have a fear of my hair unraveling Okay, so the ninja bun is all done. So the only thing left to do is lay them baby hairs. And so what I'm going to be using is my Eco Styler gel, which is my gel of choice. And I'm going to be using a toothbrush and my favorite my finger. So what I do after I get my little gel, just take my toothbrush and I just start making little waves using my finger to kind of hold it a little bit. And I just keep going back and forth.
and that is it for this hairstyle I'm gonna swing around so you guys can see the whole hairstyle and that's it for this tutorial if you guys have any questions or comments you know to leave them for me down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and always don't forget to slay them edges i'll see you guys on another video real soon bye